When your business is designing custom clothing, it is important to see those customers in person. It sure is. So when the coronavirus hit, one local shop had to make a few adjustments just to stay afloat. Tonight, our small business spotlight returns to Mansaware. Here at Mansaware on Park Avenue, Nita Brown has added a new item to her inventory. She's making face masks. The skirt was done in this fabric and created a mask for um, the bride. But these aren't ordinary masks. They are from colorful fabrics she hand-selected from Ghana, the country where she was born and raised. I had to pivot because nobody's buying $155 dress. They're not going anywhere. So I pivoted and started using some of the fabrics, my sample fabrics, to make the mask. Making masks certainly wasn't the original plan. Brown opened Mansaware in 2014. She says it was her destiny to be a clothing designer. And here, it's all about the experience. We do a quality check when it's done. Customers select from about 50 different patterns. Brown takes your measurements and sends them to Ghana, where she partners with a manufacturing facility that puts the custom orders together. But her business model got turned on its head during the pandemic. Ghana was shut down, so she used the sample fabric she had in-house and had them sewn locally into masks. And then she started making them available online and for curbside pickup. Let me show you how I put it on pre-tie. My daughter has been my spokesperson doing all the ads. Hold on. And we started posting them. And that was a godsend. At least it kept us afloat. Now her store has reopened, and you'll find a large display of colorful masks on the shelves. The bulk of my customers are the ones doing Zoom calls. What's well, going to make them look good up? <laughs> beautiful mask, beautiful top, right? Because the bottom, they need to be comfortable. During the time when the store was physically closed, Brown used the opportunity to renovate her store. We painted it, we redesigned the dressing area to make it really, really nice and plush, like a real boutique. So that's what we did. And I had an enormous amount of help. Friends just chipped in. Brown credits the community support for helping to keep her business afloat during this stretch. And she says the coronavirus pause has given her time to better develop her business strategy, fine-tuning the focus on custom-made clothing, but also seizing on the opportunity to reach a larger customer base. A year from now, I think we would have grown much more in terms of Western New York, we're going to do targeted marketing, but also online. So I see more positive. If you know of a small business we should feature, email me at spotlight at whec.com.